continue to praise the Lord. Amen.
come on and I sing it. Sing. Come on, sing. No one Praise and worship. We got to get it out. Come on, push, push, push. Push, push, push. No one is greater than you. 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 No
searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I, low, still couldn't find nobody.
your hand, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the opportunity that we had to worship you in spirit and in truth. And for that, we tell you, thank you. We don't take it for granted. For everything we have, it is because of God. And how many of you know that we benefited from a most gracious God? Hallelujah. We benefited from our most gracious God, the God that breathed life into us, the God that give us opportunity every day to witness Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And for that, we tell you, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for joy. Thank you for strength. Thank you for peace. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you that you are the great I am. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you for being our deliverer. Not just our deliverer, but he's our great defender. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. 
And for that, we tell you, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for the opportunity to walk into the house on today. To walk into the temple, oh God. To walk into Shekinah Glory Powerhouse. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And everything we need is in the house on today. I don't know what you need, but you know what you need on today. But it's in the house. If you just open up your ears and open up your hearts, you can get what you need as God uses vessels on today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together all over the house. For truly God is worthy of our praise. Amen. Amen. Just have a few announcements. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Remember that we are in 5K at work project. That's 5,000. Amen. You still have an opportunity to give to that. Our, our deadline is Sunday, September the 15th. Amen. To have that in and to exceed that goal. Amen. Also, on Wednesday night, we have an opportunity that we can give to 1608. Everybody says 1608. It's for the house. 1608. Amen. Amen. So we have opportunities to give to the kingdom, to sow into the kingdom, to bless the kingdom. Hallelujah. To bless our house. Amen. Which is God's house. Amen. Amen. So we just ask that you give to the kingdom on today. And also, if you want to be baptized, I have a few people that have come to me and said that, they want to be baptized. And if you want to be baptized, I need you to get your name to me as soon as possible so we can move forward on that. Amen. 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 Just remember that um, our weekly, our weekly um, services throughout the week and our first service that's coming up is Tuesday night prayer at 6 p.m. We need everybody to try to make it into the house for prayer. Amen. Because this is a house of prayer. Amen. Amen. And Wednesday night is our bread for life at 6.30. Amen. And then Saturday morning we back here to pray to our God. Amen. Amen. So put your hands together all over the house. Hallelujah, for God is good. Hallelujah. In this offering time in the sanctuary, so we're going to ask that you give to the kingdom on this morning.
Hallelujah. I'm so glad I'm able to give to the kingdom. Amen. Father God, we thank you this morning for the opportunity to give to the kingdom. We're so glad we're able to sow into the kingdom on today, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, because you are our resource, oh God. And we thank you, Lord God, for the opportunity just to sow into the kingdom on this morning. We ask that you bless everyone that was able to give, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we just ask that you multiply it for your kingdom and for your glory and for your use. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 Now we're going to turn it over to Apostle Amen. Billy Joe Davis Jr. Amen. You may be seated. We're going to move forward in the word of God. We were praying for a 22-week-old baby, Emily, all day. And things are not looking good, but she's yet alive. And so it's from that perspective that we as Shekinah anchor in and ask God for the miraculous. But that is divine sovereign will be first. God, it's your will that all be saved, God. It's your will, God, for divine healing through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's your will, Father, for us to prosper and be in health. It's your will, God, for us not to be afflicted. So, God, I pray right now God for Samuel God I pray for Rachel God God I pray that your peace will be upon them God and God that your peace and comfort carry them through this difficult season comfort in the name of Jesus as you go God to make a divine move with a divine strategy it's a valid joy that we give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 This morning as I stand, I stand by the privilege of God's grace. And using that divine rod of the apostolic, it is time for us to do some things. They can teach and teach and we teach and teach and teach. But every now and then, you, we all have to do some things together. It's time for you to call an end to your oppression. It's time for you to use your mouth and not mental assent. Not you agreeing with me, but use your mouth if you want to end to your oppression, your depression, your suppression. Begin to speak right now. Begin to make it known to God right now. If you want to call it to an end, it's on you right now. If you want to call it to an end, you call it to an end right now in the name of Jesus. Because we know that in the name of the power, in the power that's in that name of Jesus, the enemy has to cease, the enemy has to relent, the enemy has to give up tormenting God's people. God gave us wisdom to know that even little by little, he'll drive out our enemy. God, we thank you for acquitting us, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for pardoning our iniquities, God, and forgiving our sins and trespasses, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you that we pray a prayer of vengeance today. The vengeance is yours. You shall repay. Vengeance against our enemies, vengeance against any force, God, any entity, any principality, any dark power that the enemy has used against us. Let your vengeance answer in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree that everyone and everything adverse to our destiny and create a purpose in you must answer to your vengeance right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for visiting the camp of the enemy. Thank God for bringing an end to this season of rain and terror in your people's lives. Thank you, God, for destroying the tormenting demon in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you for destroying the locust, God, of dreams and visions in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for removing oppression by supplying your people with provisions from heaven. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for stopping the spirit of depression from fortifying itself in the minds of your people. Thank you for vengeance from heaven. Vengeance from heaven. Vengeance from heaven. As you avenge your elect speedily. As you take away lack and insufficiency. As you take away homelessness and sickness. As you remove disease, germ, virus, and bacteria. We give your glorified praise in this house. I need amped up praise in this place right now. I need God to know that we came to start a fire today. Thank you, God, for vengeance, God. Vengeance that brings your divine intervention, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank God for vengeance, God, on anything trying to molest your people in their destiny, God. In the name of Jesus, answer by fire. Answer by fire. Answer by preparing a table for us, God, in this season before our enemies, God. Answer by preparing a table, God, before our enemies, in the name of Jesus. Answer, God. Let the accusers and the mockers be silenced in this season. Do it for your name's sake and the sake of the kingdom by and through the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, God. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for your prevailing power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for that prevailing power that produces God, that brings providential promises in the name of Jesus, that brings peaceful prosperity. We give you praise for it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, this morning we champion your cause just like David. And God, we ask you to let us withdraw from the vault of your promises in your word. Let redemption draw near in the name of Jesus. Let deliverance come. Let salvation and prosperity answer right now in the name of Jesus. That we receive, God, and we obtain strength, God. We obtain might. We obtain boldness and victory through Jesus Christ. Oh, God, we thank you that Jesus is the light of our lives. We thank you that the word is a lamp to our feet. God, we thank you right now, God, that we step toward you. We draw nearer, God. We step into the light, God. We step into peace right now. We step into salvation. We step into provisions, God. We step into healing, God. Oh, God, we step under the umbrella of grace. We step, God, into the throne of grace. Thanking you for your vengeance right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for wisdom. We thank you for might. We thank you for counsel. We thank you for knowledge. We thank you for understanding. It all comes from you. God, you change the times and the seasons. You remove kings and you set them up. You give wisdom to the wise and to knowledge of those who use understanding, God. So, God, we thank you right now, God, for giving us the ability to destroy ignorance in our midst right now. In the name of Jesus, we destroy apathy and slopeness in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for greater grace being released upon us, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Revelation, God, of secret and deep things in the name of Jesus. Thank you for indwelling light, harness to our spirits, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you that we receive truth. We receive revelation of your true mysteries, God, of your riches right now. In the name of Jesus, we cry Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Tiskadu, Jehovah Jireh. We cry Jesus. We cry Lord. We cry restore. We cry grace, grace. Help us, God, to transcend, God and transition in this season. For God, you told us if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? 
So God, we think that our foundation is built upon Jesus Christ, the solid rock. We thank you, God, that we have the word to live by. We thank you, God, that even though life has its event, you're greater than any event. And for that, we tell you, thank you, God. Thank you right now. Somebody ought to thank God for liberty right now. Somebody ought to thank God for moving on their behalf right now. Somebody ought to thank God for letting them live through the abuse. Somebody ought to thank God for letting them live through the incest. You ought to thank God that he kept you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody ought to thank God that he kept them through the teen pregnancy. You ought to give God praise right there. Somebody ought to thank God that even after the abortion, he still had mercy on you. Somebody ought to give God glory right there. God, we thank you that there will be no mental barriers in this season. There will be no behavioral patterns, God, that the enemy can fortify himself with. God, we thank you, God, for teaching us how to prioritize our lives, how to come before you, God, empty-handed. But more than that, God, we come to God with a heart, God, that we release back to you. We don't carry pain in our hearts, misuse or abuse. We carry the strength and the love of God. We carry the peace that surpasses all understanding. God, we thank you for the removal of lifelong secrets, for the removal of family secrets in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for healing your people, God, and strengthening those, God, who have been psychologically manipulated to become a functional mute. Bless them right now. Oh, God, we thank you. You said you will have what we say. Teach them how to open their mouths wide and still give you praise in the face of shame, in the face of adversity, in the face of pain. Bless them right now. Ah, oh, look at somebody and tell them the threat ends today. The threat ends today. The enemy can't play with me. The threat is over. Thank you, God, that you've set captives free. Thank you, God, for that mandated work that you've given to us. Thank you, God, for helping your people to overcome the mindset that there are damaged goods. Everything that you made was good. I need you to look at somebody and tell them, you're not damaged now. I, tell them, I can't help you to see yourself. Come on, tell them, I can't help you to, I can't help you to see yourself, but you're not damaged. But if you want to go in the bargain bin, go, but leave God out. Come on now. Because everything God made was good, and everything God touched, he healed, and everything God healed, he delivered, and everything God delivered, he restored, and everything God restored was good. Somebody tell, look at somebody and tell them, I'm good, I don't care what you know about me, I'm good, I'm, I'm good, I'm good with it, I'm good that you know I'm good, period. It doesn't matter, I'm good. I don't care how you see me, I'm good. I wish I had a real church. I, I wish I had a church that's looking to be delivered today. Look at somebody tell them, I don't care what you know about me. Come on, tell them, I don't care what you know about me. Because probably what you know is probably true. But whom the Son set free is free indeed. And I walk in the liberty of Christ Jesus right now. I'm blood covered, come on now. I'm delivered from my past. I'm blood covered, I'm blood covered. Thank God I got a past. I'm not just a past, I have a past. I shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. From the rising of the sun, my goodness, until the going down of the same, he's still God. He's still a loving God. He's still a merciful God. He's still a God who cares. He's still a God who's in the healing business. I, I, I dare you to trust God for your healing. By, if you're sick or any kind of way, just raise your hand and ask God to heal you right there. 
We'll lay hands on the sick and they recover, but you can just ask for a thing and God will make it happen. God will make it happen. Spirit of the living God, come forward in this place as your people have availed, have availed themselves to you. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray right now, God, against mental disorder, stress. I pray against it right now in the name of Jesus, God. I pray against God, who, those, against those who have tormented their minds because of their praying. They've come against their own selves because they didn't get immediacy and an answer. But you told us you with us, you will never forsake us. And so God, we thank you that through faith and patience, we inherit the promise. Thank you for your mercy, thank you for your love, thank you for your grace. But more than anything, thank you for the adversity. Thank you for the tribulation. For we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom. Thank you for the suffering. Suffering that taught us temperance and tolerance. Thank you for strengthening us right now. We bless you right now. Somebody give God glorified praise. Give him glorified praise. Give God glorified praise. Bless the name of the Most High God. Give God glorified praise. Give God glorified praise. Give him glorified praise. Somebody do a 180 pivot. Do a 180 pivot. That's halfway around. 180. Stay where you are. If you did a 180 pivot, you should be facing the east. Somebody pivot, Mother White. We stand by our two elderly mothers. Positions, and those that's facing other positions, we're comfortable. God, God, who established that the sun rises. Oh, y'all know where it rises. Come on, come on, it rises in what? Son of God, rise with healing in your wings right now upon these your people god as we turn our face towards you god asking for a new rising god in our horizons in the name of jesus turn back around the same way you turn turn back around don't don't uh, don't make a 360 going wrong make sure you go the same way you came i guess you're gonna make a 360 you're gonna avoid what you did if you make a 360 you're gonna end up back where you were I didn't try to get you know all the way turn around all this all that because I want you to meditate on what you did so that the next time we come together we can finish it how about that because the Lord said little by little you know our church sometimes they get you in there and they tell you everything going on let's just work on a little bit at a time is that all right and when you know you turn your face to God when you know you put your faith in God, I'm talking about, you know, the Bible said, curses the man that trusts in the arm of flesh. I mean, when people get that twisted up, he's saying, look, y'all stop depending on one another like that. And let God put the right people in your path. Because the one you thought was going to be able to break you through is not going to be able to help you at all. Are you hearing me? But if you follow God and take your eyes off a of man because the one that generally trying to lead you 
are leading you down a road of deception and lies for manipulation and control. But God is a wise God. He, he gives us opportunity to acknowledge him in all our ways. If you believe that God has changed something in your life right now, because see, you have to walk it out. We can do whatever we want to do in church, but at the end of the day, you have to walk it out. Are you hearing? If you believe God, glorify him with a praise right now. You may be seated. You may be seated. I'm getting ready to relinquish the mic, and I'll come back up. I'm coming back up. I'm relinquishing the mic to the assistant, Pastor Edna Renee Stewart. to be praised he is worthy to be praised and first of all I just want to thank God for allowing me to be home in your presence once again for waking me up this morning for keeping me through the night keeping me in my right mind and I thank you God it's gonna take a few minutes of your time just to give a you may be seated A short testimony about pretty much about how my this month of August has been or oh, is trying to be to me and as you know the last time I was here I was home to bury my sister but God is still good And he brought me through that. And I thank him. Well, during, basically when I got the news, it was the 31st of July, when my sister passed, at that same moment, back home in Alabama, I was at the doctor's office. And as some of you know before, once, um, before I had to do a biopsy. But I had already told the radiologists, the doctors that I already knew that I had a lump in my chest. I knew where it was. I took them to the place. That was the one that they was talking about. They wanted to do it anyway. So I was like, okay. So we did that back then. And so some of y'all, we do them, well, you're supposed to do them once a year. So I, on the day that my sister passed, I was, like I said, I was in Alabama at the hospital. I had to go back for my yearly exam. I went there. They called me a couple of days later and told me I need to come back in to do another x-ray because they thought they saw something. So I'm like, okay. So they scheduled me for the 31st of July. I went back in. It was a more of an extensive exam this time. And they said, they'd give me my results the same, at, the, at the same time after I got finished. I was like, okay. So they did the exam. As I sat down waiting for them to come back and let me know the results, they came back and they said, um, Ms. Stewart, um, we want you to come back again for another biopsy. So I said, okay. And they said that and I was like, well, you know, I already took one before and I already know, you know, pretty much what you're talking about. And she said, yes, ma'am. She said, but there's another area in your breast that we need to do a, bo a biopsy on. 
Okay, so while I was there going through that and made my appointment for the 6th of August, um, I had not yet known that my sister had passed. Until I got back home, you know, I was praying, okay, God, you know, I've been through this before. I've seen this before. You did it before. You can do it again. I mean, I understand what they, they're saying, but I know who I serve. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do this biopsy. And then maybe a couple hours later, my sister called and said that my other sister, older sister, Deborah, had passed. So I'm like, okay. Okay. But I still said, but God. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect, that I didn't cry, I didn't shed any tears because I did because it's my sister and not just for my sister but for myself because I said God I shall live I want to live and I shall live so I told my kids I called I talked to my pastor first lady to let them know what was going on I didn't call a lot of people because sometimes you can't call everybody because everybody might not be for you but I had to call on people that I knew that can get a prayer across that had my best interests at hand so I went back on the 6th of August to do the biopsy and they, they did it and everything everything went well they told me about be about a week before I can get the results back and they would call me and let me know the results I was like okay but I thank God for the miracle of endurance for helping me to go through that week and I thought that week was it was almost felt like a month but when that week came I got no call so I was like okay so I'm gonna stay busy you know at my job I had to travel a little bit so I was trying to do everything I can to stay busy to keep my mind you know focused you know and I'm not saying I didn't sometimes not really think the worst but the what if What if? What if I do? But then I did I couldn't stay there. I, I didn't stay there. Because I know what God's word said. By his stripes I'm healed. Let your will be done. And I start sometimes thinking about, okay, my sister had a sister that passed, you know, with breast cancer. I had an aunt that had breast cancer. She didn't pass with it, but she had it. And I knew of a lot of other people that had it, that didn't make it. But I also knew people that did. So I was like, okay, I'm going to live regardless of the outcome, the results, I'm going to live, but I'm still trusting you, God. Because you don't do it, it can't be done. But I'm still trusting you because I got a work to do. So about the two-week mark, you know, my son kept saying, they call yet, they call yet, they call yet. And I was like, no. But I'm still trusting God. So I finally called, like at the, maybe the two weeks mark, and I was like, you know, excuse me, this is Stuart. I was just calling. I took a test on the, you know, the 6th of August, and you said you was going to call me back with, within a week for the results, and I hadn't received that call. She's like, well, let me go check. So she checked on it, and she said, well, Miss Stewart, she said, they had to send your test off 
to another clinic to get further testing. So it'll probably be like the end of that week before I get the results back. So I'm like, okay, another week. Another week. So I was like, okay. He took me through that first week. He took me through the second week. I get up in the morning I go walking that way I can clear my head I can pray I can talk to God and still my music and as I was walking I was listening to a song that said God got you and the words was God got you I'm like okay I was just walking and singing and praying and then the my phone rang and I was like, okay. I looked at the numbers. So I don't answer too many numbers if I don't know. I don't know the area code. I'm like, oh. but some said answer that call. So I answered the call and she said, Miss Stewart, this is Miss Gillian from the clinic. We got your results back and it's negative. the 
peace in your storm. The miracle of endurance. And we don't ask him for anything else. Ask him for the miracle of endurance to help you to go through. And you know you're not going to be perfect all the time when you're going through. Because we're all here. process thank you you may be seated allow me to say this you may be seated allow me to say this You heard her testimony. You didn't know her suffering. A lot of you could have testimonies, but you privatize your suffering. Go ahead and go through it by yourself. You think you, think you can do that, that's not the way God operates. But if you think you can do that, go ahead and try it. Because that's not the order that he set. That's why he gave gifts as the representation of Jesus so that we learn how. That's why he said, we that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Everybody can be going through something, but what you're going through should not override what somebody else is going through. You should not shut them off because you're going through Come on now. It's called Christian maturity. Y'all all right with me? In other words, I want you to understand something right now because I always tell her she'll cry baby anyway. And I tell her, you can't cry through everything. Crying is all right. It's a natural emotion. But like I shared with the people from Greater Peace yesterday, they lost their pastor, so you know how they feel. But the Bible said, I built it, they, the Bible said, God, count your tears and put them in a bottle. You can sit there and you can cry and you can cry. But why are you filling up your bottle when you should just, come on now, weeping may endure for a night. And people say a night season, they try to stretch it out, da, 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 da. I'm not going to get caught up in tech, doctrinal teachings or whatever, but I'm going to tell you this. The next verse says, though, in my prosperity, I said I shall not be moved. That's knowing who God is to me. Sometimes some things come upon us just so we'll get to know him. that we'll get to know him. Because she said it through faith. She said the test of endurance. But the scripture says through faith and patience they in and obtain the promise. The promise always was healing. Are you hearing me? We should not be people who make acceptance of things that are anti- Christ acceptable. Remember, men are always to pray, not faint or lose heart. Jesus, John 14, said, let not your heart. I don't have a church now. Because y'all emotional people. Emotional people will never get anything from God. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Y'all got to settle it in your spirit. Give God a real thanksgiving. Thank God for the woman of God. But keep her in prayer. Why did it come? We don't know. We know her assignment. We know her title. That's what we know. But God don't put you in a position for you to fail. You fail to ascend to the position if you fail. Because he's given us all things that pertain to life 
and God only so many people they would rather hide run from God whatever than be developed and that's fine life is choice driven but they will answer their body will answer or their soul will answer are y'all hearing me what shall it profit a man of he's to gain this whole world and lose his soul. So many of you are caught up in trying to prove stuff to each other and to other people and God like, what about me? Tell me it's God's house. And that's what I want you to understand. Because, you know, it was hard, I know it was difficult for a pastor to talk to me because I only see one way. I don't open up a I don't open up my book for anything else. God is your healer. You were healed. He gave you a sign. He didn't put you out there for nothing to take you down, not in this season. He's just getting our attention. He'll check us. Come on, tell you, he'll check you. It'll be a serious check, too, ain't it? That's a serious check. I close with this. Many of you think that God has attacked your finances or let the enemy attack your finances. No, that's just gross mismanagement and irresponsibility on your part. It had nothing to do with God. It had nothing to do with the devil. It had to do with you and your inability to manage finances. P-E-R-I-O-D. And we're not going to play with the devil. We're not going to get the devil credit where he don't get credit. Are y'all understanding me? If you want God to prosper you, you have to learn how to manage what he puts in your hand. Is that all right? I'm not good right there. I, everything I say, I say for a reason. I say for a reason. I feel a compulsion in my spirit. And I know I got 5K at work. That's $5,000. Where I requested 10 people to uh, sew at, what, 250. I requested 10 people to sew $250. I started. Mine already. Right, so I don't look at, well, what you going to do? Ten people at 250. You got until when? September 15th, right? That's 5K. Then Wednesday night, we laid on my heart to do 1608. $1,608. And now I stand today with something else. <laughs> and that's just how I roll. <laughs> and I roll the way it rolls to me. Because God going to break you from being cheap one way or another. Because you only rob yourself. Put yourself in the all days position. Samuel and Rachel. And you got a baby already premature born. And you're displaced and you had to go stay where your baby at. But the room ain't free. If Shekinah don't answer that need, something wrong with us. Am I right or wrong? I don't, oh, it's quiet up in the car, dog. I'll turn. <laughs> Let me just look over here at these people right here. Because all they are help over here for sure. Am I right? Because broke people act like broke people. Except when it's time to go to the ATM. All of a sudden, when they go to the ATM, you, we all got what we want cut through the chase we all have what we want don't bite talk when I'm talking please the one spirit when I'm putting something out when I'm casting a vision let me cast it because anything contrary to what I'm saying is counter to production are y'all hearing me and y'all know I'm gonna set order in the house you all know that you don't want to give don't give just be silent boom because we gonna give because I'm the type that if it left up to me, I'll be like, hey, we don't even want that. That's tainted. But tainted money spend. <laughs> so I ain't got no choice but to take it. Are y'all hearing me? I'm not going to tell you what to give. I'm telling you the disposition. The baby's name is Emily. Emory. Emory. Baby Emory. That's what we give into. Whether however the Lord see fit to do, it doesn't matter. We're gonna do what we're supposed to do. 
And trust me, ours will be done before the conclusion of the day. If you give, you give. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is. We're going to do what we do. If you want to go to tell us and come back at the end of the service, we ain't going to be here, we gonna be here that long. We got, got, we got engagements today. I got stuff I got to do. So I'm not gonna be, we're not going to be around here long. We want to make sure that we take care of those. So we're going to make impact. Somebody say impact. We're not that kind of house that we just show up. We'll get you to for a night. Right, we're going to get you to a little better than that. Is that all right? That's quiet up in here. When can I get a real church that don't answer by the brokenness or the stinginess of their pockets? Because the most stingy people are not broke. They're just selfish. And I call it. Are you hearing me? But if it was yours, you want me to be up here speaking on behalf of your people and soliciting it all. Am I right? I'm not working to anybody on Facebook. Just send it to our regular cash out but reference Emory. Reference Emory on cash out. Dollar sign, capital S, capital G, capital P, capital H, capital W, small letter E L L. And we'll get it all over there. We'll get it counted and we're going to go ahead and forward what we're going to bless them with anyway. If you're making checks, whatever, just make it out the powerhouse. And we'll cash app it to them. Is that all right? We're going to do a cash app this day. Somebody say this day. Tell them with or without you. We're going forward. Because what we don't want is attitude on top of blessing. Is that all right? We don't want attitude on top of blessing. It's been a great day. God has blessed us. He continues to prosper us. I got business. I got to move. We got to get up out of here. Did I miss anything? Two, go, did I miss anything? COVID is on the uptick. I've been telling y'all that for three or four weeks. It's on the uptick. I don't do public events. I had my mask on at the funeral yesterday. And that's why a lot of y'all, y'all be like, well, Pastor Davis ain't friendly. He don't let you come. No, we ain't getting in each other's face right now. It's just not what we're going to do. Is that all right? Y'all understand what I'm saying? There's a reason for everything. Am I right? I'm old myself. <laughs> be 69 my birthday I'm old so I gotta look out for me y'all want those numbers trust me everybody good so we thank God for everything we're gonna pray and uh, Father God we thank you for those God whose heart were touched to move in compassion toward all day family bless and power them God and multiply them God 30 60 100 fold God a thousand times more God in Jesus' name, your servant has prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank God for Pastor Stewart one more time. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. God bless you. Have a great day. Have a great day.